Well, Andy, well played. For somebody who's been starved of competitive action recently, were you particularly pleased with the way you played today? Yeah, I was, uh, I was very happy with it. Um, you know, I've been practicing well the last week or so and, and hitting the ball well and moving good in practice. So, you know, all the signs were there, but then getting on a match court, especially in conditions like today, you never know what's going to happen. Um, and yeah, just glad, glad I played like that and, and got off the court quickly. The temperature peaked at 42.2 Celsius yeah. about 10 minutes after your match started. So give us an idea of what it is like to play in conditions like that. Um, it's it's not nice. I mean, you know, all, all of the players will have been struggling today. Um, you know, if you think, you know, they're talking about moving the World Cup in, in Doha um, because, of, because of the heat and the temperatures get up to that sort of, you know, I think mid-40s. Uh, you know, the heat of the court as well, you know, because of the, the concrete, it's, I mean, it feels even hotter than that when you're on the court, on, on your feet and stuff. And, you know, even in the shade, you know, the air is so, so hot to, it's just, it's tough conditions and, and you need to, to do everything that you can and be professional as you can before the match to hydrate properly during the match, use ice towels and get as much fluid and um, energy gels and things like that that you, you can, but um, you just got to hope for the best because you don't know when it's going to hit you or, or what's going to happen really. And with one player fainting and another player vomiting and the potential to have to play seven best of five set matches in a fortnight, is it fair, do you think, for the organisers to ask you all to play through this extreme heat? Look, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm always... Um, you know, there's, there's people that are going to know better than me what's healthy and what isn't. Um, but you just you don't want something bad to happen to one of the players, and that's the, the thing. You know that if something bad happened to one of the players, um, they would change the rules. And obviously the signs, you know, today with guys fainting and ball kids fainting and, you know, people in the stands fainting, it's, it's really, really tough, challenging conditions. And... I don't know even what the heat rule is. None of the players really do know exactly what the rules are when we would come off the court. Because there's no, like you say, it's 42.2 degrees, but that isn't relevant to whether we come on or off the court. So they do some wet ball breeding, which I don't even know what that means. Um, and no one does, so <laughs> I think that maybe that needs to change.